give me a minute so that I can share the live broadcast with all of you. So I have a telegram group. I have a WhatsApp broadcast group where you can ping me to receive the regular updates regarding NEET PG and the, the other examinations. And I conduct regular sessions of high yield topic through my YouTube channel. So I was I'm just checking whether I'm live. So just comment and let me know if you can see me. So today's live is important. Why it's important? Because my inbox is filled with messages. So by now you all know that your AIMS website have given a notification about common entrance examination, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm not able to find the how to share it. If you are able to, you can share it with your friends and it will be available in recorded also. So myself, Dr. Shiva, I'm a ENT and head neck surgeon. And uh, through this YouTube channel, I try to give my part in your success journey. Now, with this notification, the one thing that arises in all of us mind is whether it was a bit early to give this notification. So I understand that the notification of examination is just when you are on the verge of your revisions, you are on the verge of your completion of syllabus, right? So I can understand the difficulty, the queries that you are having and that is why making this live session was important for me to solve some of your queries which I have been getting in my WhatsApp. Yeah, so Dr. Vivek will come to your questions. First of all, we can see what all queries you might be having. So you might be having queries regarding the strategy, right? So if you see this notification which is there in the AIMS website, yeah, this one. So it says that your basic registration is going to start from today, right? From 29.9 up till 12 of October. And there won't be any correction that you will be able to make after 26th of October. So the first thing is you need to complete this basic registration and move to this, right? Now, the thing is regarding strategy. Some more questions like, what you are going to do with Nimhans. So Nimhans had separate 30 questions from neurology, which they used to ask. What about those who were preparing for Nimhans? What about whether this exam will be temporary or permanent? How to go through the exam, the pattern of exam, the number of questions. So for all the queries, the one answer is most of your queries will be solved once they release their prospectus. Right. So prospectus is going to be released on 6th of October for that you need to wait some more days. But regarding the strategy, the thing that you need to remind yourself is your goal, your ultimate aim is going to be same. So you are again, whatever you were studying, you were studying for an exam. And this is just an another exam where they will be testing your knowledge. So you should not get worried and lose your focus. Whatever I am trying to say is continue your revision. Finally, whatever pattern it may be, it will be, they will be testing your knowledge, right? And what extra you can do as 
the notification is from aims most probably they will be the one who will be setting the paper right nothing can be shared on sure basis but aims people might be the ones who will be setting the questions taking some recommended questions from nimhans jipmer and other right so you need to not to make any mistake from the previous year questions that aims people have asked so all the aims questions of minimum of last 3 years should be at your tip of the finger now coming to whether to solve nimhans or jipmer the recent year so i would recommend if this is the pattern if they are taking all the jipmer nimhans and aims together without any new format then you should go through minimum 2 years of jipmer and nimhans also right because they'll be collecting the questions from these institute also so on priority basis you can go through their questions and just keep on revising the step that you are doing already right so need not to take too much of burden the only thing is the mcqs that you were practicing before you need to now give more focus over their last year papers and keep on revising your weaker stuff so i always say analyze your preparation and kill your weakness right so analyze your preparation where you are getting weak in which subjects you are getting less marks try to improve them try to remove those weaknesses try to kill your mistakes right so this competition is not about how others are performing it is always relative right how you are performing how you are improving your mistakes is the one which is going to help you in the final run so don't think how much others have read by now just keep on improving on your mistakes and you will get the desired thing that you are wanting right so pattern regarding pattern it can be a uh, aims like that they used to ask or what they can do is like in neat ss if you see they divide the paper into part a and part b so in part a they can ask for those who are attempting for nimhans for those who want to get into nimhans they can give 30 questions of neurology separately in part a and that will be applicable for only ones who are giving nimhans but this is less likely mostly they will be having a common paper where they will be answering all now coming to whether this will be a bad or a good opportunity for you so any exam is a wonderful opportunity right and for this central institute as it is new for everybody this is the golden chance so don't take it as a burden take it as a golden opportunity for yourself right in the central exam experience matter so don't think that you are an average student and you can't do it or something like that right you can do it only thing is you need to have faith in yourself and keep on working right keep on working keep on hustling every day so it is not like some day you haven't done as expected and you feel low there is nothing to feel bored or low right now the only thing that will matter is your work done how much study hours you are putting on daily right so chances are always better in these type of exams which are new to everybody and as it is a one time exam so chances that you Uh, will be getting a rank is more right now one more question was there right, regarding ki for them whose internship is ending in march or feb whether they will be eligible or not so for them the answer will come on 6th when they will release the prospectus so you need to wait some 4 or 5 days more to know this answer but for others who are still in their journey who are preparing and who were on the verge of completing their revision or doing stuffs for them continue your pace right so you should not go from here to here due to the all the queries that you are getting your queries will be sorted out with time but the thing is 
finally you have to elevate your knowledge level and this knowledge level will be elevated if you continue on reading right so don't worry if you are not getting that marks in your grand test don't worry if you are not able to complete all of your targets eventually you will be able to and believe me you are going to get it so keep a full faith have a happy day or happy life and keep on improving right so this small life session was intended for it that the strategy is again going to be same revision of the steps revision of the stuffs with giving more focus over the previous year papers now the aims has become more important they will be conducting this common entrance test and the other jipmer and nimhans you can go through one to two years of their paper if the exam is common for all of you which is the probability and whether this is going to be continued for those who are still in mbbs the probability is yes because one exam will be next that will be for the all the medical colleges in the in our country and another might be this common entrance test for admission to pg courses right so other other thing might be this through which they will take the entry to the central institute and through the next they'll be giving allotment to the different mbbs medical college now i don't know it was not showing in my mobile so i couldn't answer queries let me see the let me see the comment section and then we can end this small session right so right now i am staying in a hotel doing my covid duties and amidst that there was lot of queries so this was the best way to solve whatever i know right now okay so uh, dr s bahatia is saying ki medicine thodi si bachi hui hai can i leave it so for dr s bahatia the one thing that you need to know is uh regarding medicine this is a very vast subject and if you give a lot of time to this subject you might miss on the other smaller important topics right a smaller important subjects so i would recommend to touch the important topics from the medicine and move on to your other important subjects because all the 19 subjects are important and if you keep on doing these big big subjects give them a lot of time you will end up missing on something so i don't want you to miss on the other small subjects which are high yield and important for this exam because this exam doesn't differentiate much over the subjects they will ask you everything almost everything so the main funda is not to miss on anything and these subjects medicine and all are quite recent for you you have just read in your mbbs life so if they ask you 40 question 50 question almost 15 20 you will be able to answer anyway and the others will be completed by the important topics by important what i mean the topics that they have asked in the previous examination or something like that so if you go through those important you will be able to solve another 10 15 question and that is going to do for you okay so will there be a neat yeah so uh, neat pg is on 10th of jan the date is already announced right after next how many fmg get into pg so the uh, this question is relative depending upon how well you have prepared right so everything is based upon the number of seats that are available and how well you are doing compared to others can i intern give this exam so for dr pankaj yes uh, i think you might be eligible but confirmation will be on 6th of october when the prospectus is released so nobody in the country can tell you surely whether you will be eligible right now or not right so have patience of 1 2 3 4 days more up till 6th of october and will update you ki what you need to do and regarding the pattern i can i can improvise you better then depending upon ki what type of questions they will be asking or what right so qualification for mdms 
yeah there is nothing like qualification for mdms you have to clear this qualifying exams and you will be no no i am not covid positive i am doing my covid duty right so we we usually guess get 7 days of covid duty and then 7 days quarantine so on rotation basis currently i am serving on a government medical college as senior resident surgeon in ent head neck surgery and in between these duties i get these 7 days of covid duty where i stay in a hotel and give the morning and evening rounds and like that after 7 days i'll get a test will undergo a quarantine and will again rejoin my duty nothing to worry see uh, most most cases are mild so dr shikha says i am positive doesn't doesn't matter see in this pandemic you will encounter most of your friends and you will hear a lot of news about your relative or someone getting a positive status but the thing is you need to keep a high motivation level maintain a good healthy lifestyle and keep on monitoring yourself so most of the cases are resolving by themselves and some medication only some in which there are morbidities like diabetes hypertension old age they are getting worse and for them you need to keep a keep in touch with your doctor and monitor yourself yeah so i am ending this the main purpose was to tell you about this common entrance test which is completed would request you to uh connect with me through the subs- subscribe button that is there and i have a separate whatsapp um, broadcast group and a telegram group where you can get connected with me and i keep on sending important updates whenever i find time right so do share it this one with your friends so that they also get to know that these are the things and they need not to worry but continue your preparation right So this is Dr Shivam stay happy stay blessed bye bye